So here we go, another edition of what's going on in BB Worlds, and we're currently running the latest firmware. It's October 2024, and the, uh, the version of firmware we've got is 4.6.3. And finally, it looks like BB have really got it together with the live mode, which up till now has had a few issues, quirks, and um, as far as I'm concerned, it's been um, of no real practical use in a live situation. But now, uh, things are looking good. So if we load up a playlist, um, hit load, we can hit live mode, lock it. What's going on behind the scenes, I really don't know. Um, I think it's uh, optimizing the processor, so I'm led to believe I've got no evidence of that. But certainly, accidentally hitting one of the wrong functions is prevented by the live mode. So now we're in live mode, here's my first track. We hit play, all's looking good. If we can still double tap, to skip to the next song and it starts the next song and so on. Previously, if we want the holding screen up, we have to hit stop two or three times. Uh, with the new live mode, one tap is pause, second tap is stop the video, but whereas before it used to rewind to frame one of the video, it now brings up the holding screen, which is great. And a third tap has no effect, so that's great. At this point, we can restart that same song or, stop, stop, we can skip to the next song using the up and down arrows um, and all of the functions have been disabled. So there's gonna be no accidental hits um, that, I, that I know of that can do this. Um, we can also, I think, can we skip a track? No, so it's kind of um, idiot proof. I don't know if that's the right term to use, but certainly it's doing what you'd expect to do in live mode. Playing tracks, allowing you to skip tracks, allowing you to stop tracks, and bring up your hole in the screen, and then jump to your next tra uh, track. One situation I always look for in uh, live mode is for example, if we have a hiccup, the band goes wrong, stop, stop to get out, at the end of the song, oh, now you're holding the screens up by the way, at the end of the song, find your next song, play, and away you go. Or if you forget to do that, you can stop the song, holding the screen, play, double tap, and then get your next song up that way. Or oh, that track by the way, that's not got a um, video to it. So there we go. So looking good, live mode is doing its job. Let's exit from live mode. You can still use playlists in um, in the way the words in before. So, for example, um, just going to a playlist. Instead of loading it, we just select the uh, uh, the playlist there and hit play, and it will play the playlist. Again, double tap will skip songs. One tap of stop is pause. Tap two is exit the video and your holding screen's there. You've not got to come a third tap to exit the playlist now to get your holding screen that way, so very similar. If we press it a third time, it does jump back to the top menu, which you've always done before, which we don't need to go that far now. So um, happy days, looking good. Um, get used to that double tapping, stopping and uh, explore live mode. It's, um, it's looking good now, it's useful. So uh, we can only look forward to uh, the new developments Signing off, have fun with your B-Beat.